Okay, so I think this might become a series where I go through the career of Formula 1 drivers and since I did Christian Albers last time, this video will be about another Christian in Christian Kleon. Before arriving in Formula 1, Christian Kleon made his way up the Formula BMW categories before taking out the Formula Renault 2000 Germany Championship in 2002. In the same year, he also finished 6th in the Europe Cup category. Then in 2003, he was runner-up in the Formula 3 Euro Series, which also featured other future Formula 1 drivers like Nico Rosberg, Robert Kubica and Timo Glock. Additionally, he was victorious in the annual Masters of Formula 3 race by three tenths from Nelson Piquet Jr. in what Cleon himself says to be the greatest achievement in his racing career, and he has every right to say this, as there have been many household names that have run this event too, like Lewis Hamilton, Max Verstappen and David Coulthard. Cleon got his chance at Formula 1, with a race seat at Jaguar alongside teammate Mark Webber for the 2004 season. As expected, Cleon struggled to keep up with Webber for the majority of the season, but he did have some impressive showings. He was the first ever teammate to outqualify Mark Webber at the Bahrain Grand Prix, but he would only achieve this feat two more times. His best finish for the season included an impressive 6th place finish at Spa, with these 3 points being the only points he'd score all season. His other best results were at the Canadian Grand Prix, where he finished 9th just outside the points, albeit thanks massively to the disqualification of the Williams and Toyota cars for illegal brake ducks, and 2 10th place finishes at Bahrain and Hockenheim. Cleon finished 16th in the driver's standings, and he was absolutely outclassed by Weber, who still managed to beat Cleon with an extra 4 retirements to his name. The impressive drive at Spa was enough for Cleon to maintain his seat at Jaguar, but Jaguar was sold in November, meaning that he'd actually be driving for Red Bull in 2005. Cleon actually had a very solid start to the year, scoring points in the opening two races in Australia and Malaysia, and he also looked set to score points after outqualifying teammate David Coulthard for the second time in three race weekends, lining up seventh on the grid, but he couldn't even start that race in Bahrain due to electrical failure. Cleon then would have to share his race seat with Fit Antonio Liuzzi, which was agreed on for at least three races of the season, which actually ended up being four races, so Cleon would not come back into the picture until the Canadian Grand Prix, where he scored one point with an eighth place finish. However, Cleon and Red Bull in general saw their progress slow down as Cleon would only finish in the points paying positions just two more times, first with an eighth place finish at Istanbul and then a 5th place finish for the final race in Shanghai, gaining 9 places in that particular race which was a very superb drive from him. Cleon would finish 15th in the driver standings with 9 points compared to Kutthard's 24 points which was good for 12th. However, Cleon did race 4 fewer times than Kutthard in a stage where the Red Bull car performed better in contrast to the later half of the year, so with this said, I really do believe that Cleon would have been a lot closer to Kutthard had he participated in every race for the season. Additionally, Cleon actually managed to beat Coulthard in head-to-head -head qualifying 8 times to 7 which considering the top caliber driver Coulthard was, has to be considered as a great achievement for Cleon. He also achieved his best career qualifying result in 2005 with 4th place at the Japanese Grand Prix. 2006 would prove to be a horror show for Cleon. Despite scoring a point in the opening round of the season in Bahrain, he would only go on to score points in one more race for the team in 2006. David Coulthard was just consistently better than Cleon, who was plagued with retirements and declined in performances compared to those in 2005. Although I gotta admit he was particularly unlucky in Monaco where he was fifth and had to retire thanks to transmission problems. Cleon would not get the drive for Red Bull in 2007, who opted to sign Mark Webber instead, and it was a nasty divorce between Cleon and Red Bull, as Red Bull would actually drop Cleon after the Italian Grand Prix for the final three rounds of the season, and he was replaced by test driver Robert Dornbos. At this stage of the season, Kutthard was 11th in the driver standings with 14 points, compared to Cleon, who was down in 18th with just 2 points, with that second point courtesy of an 8th place finish at Hockenheim. Cleon would then become a test driver and a reserve driver for Honda Racing for the 2007 season and was in contention for a seat at Spyker to replace Christian Albers towards the second half of the, of the year, but lost out to Sakom Yamamoto. In 2008 and 2009, he was the test and reserve driver, 
for BMW Sauber while also having a go at Le Mans for both years finishing 3rd and 6th respectively. Clean would make his return to Formula 1 in 2010 with HRT for the Singapore Grand Prix replacing Sakon Yamamoto who was battling food poisoning but he would also replace Yamamoto for the final two races of the season as well. But as the HRT was the worst car on the grid, Clean was confined to the back of the field and never finished above 20th, which is where he finished for his last ever race in Formula 1. After F1 life, he had stints at many categories of racing, including Le Mans, V8 Supercars, Blanc Payne GT Series, and is still racing as of present actually, racing in the International GT Open for the 2020 season. I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let me know which driver you want me to do next.